Kodak Company is happy to bring you America's favorite family, the Nelsons. Ozzie, Harriet, David, and Ricky. They enjoy good times together, and they know that good times are picture times. And now, Ozzy has an important announcement to make. Yes, this is really big news. A new Kodak film called Coda Color 135. This is the world's first snapshot film for 35 millimeter cameras. Now, for the first time, that color slide camera of yours is a color snapshot camera, too. Coda Color 135 gives you sharp color prints and big, brilliant enlargements like this. Here are some pictures I took, some indoors, some outdoors, all on the same roll of film. Actually, it's the biggest 35 millimeter news since color slides. Your Kodak dealer has Kodak Color 135 right now. I hope you'll try it this weekend. And now Kodak invites you to enjoy the adventures of Ozzie and Harriet. What happened to all the candy? You finished it yesterday. I sure do miss dessert. Haven't you got any willpower? What's willpower got to do with it? I happen to be a growing boy, and I need some carbohydrates to keep my engine steamed up. Well, look at Pop. Nobody likes desserts more than he does, and he's not complaining. Well, naturally, it was his idea. I don't understand how you got so many holes in the toe of your socks. My toes are so bony from not having any dessert. <laughs> Come on, forget about dessert and do your homework. Well, I finished my homework. Well, do it again. It's probably wrong. <laughs> Here, take part of the paper. That'll keep you occupied. Why is it when you're on a diet, you automatically turn to the edge showing good things to eat? Hey, was I ever lost? Yeah, a long time ago, and they never found you. <laughs> what brought that up? Well, see this picture of this little boy in here? Oh, he's a cute little fella. He's lost, but he likes it, no wonder. Sergeant Dolan is keeping him happy with a large Tutti Frutti ice cream cone until his parents show up. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Tutti Frutti ice cream, pretty good deal, huh, Pop? I think I'll go out and get lost. And don't show up at the police station until I've had six or seven cones. <laughs> Relax, will you? I haven't tasted Tutti Frutti ice cream in years. I remember they used to run a special on it about once a week when I was in high school. Well, uh, Reed and Coop's ice cream store back in Ridgefield Park used to have the best I ever tasted. Gave you a great big dish of it for a dime. Oh, let's go. Where? Back to Ridgefield Park. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they even have the ice cream store there anymore. I'm willing to take a chance. I'm desperate. You'd think I was starving you guys to death or something. No, not me. I had a good dinner. They sure used to serve big portions. Yeah, same thing in Kansas City. There was a little ice cream store right down on the corner from our house. Well, it wasn't right on the corner. It was about two or three blocks. That was the place I was talking about before. They used to run specials on their homemade ice cream. Somehow you just don't get ice cream like that anymore. You don't get anything like that anymore. <laughs> When you ordered a, a quart of ice cream in those days, you used to pack it down real tight, and then they wouldn't level it off. They'd heap it up so high you could hardly get the corners on the box closed. Uh, a quart of ice cream was really a quart of ice cream. It was the same thing if you ordered it by the dish. They really gave you big portions. Say, have we got any Tutti Frutti ice cream out in the freezer? Not unless you put some in there. Why? Oh, I was just wondering. Did you want some now? Oh, no, not necessarily. We had a fine big dinner. Just we didn't have any dessert. Hey, how about getting some Tutti Frutti ice cream? I thought we all agreed we could do without desserts for a few days and cut down on our calories. Well, it's all right with me if Pop can take it. <laughs> if Pop can take it, are you kidding? you back on your heels. Goody, goody, so you found someone and now you know how it feels. Goody, goody, so you gave him your heart too. 
just as I gave mine to you. And he broke it in little pieces. Now how do you do? So you lie awake just singing the blues all night. Goody, goody, and you think that love's a barrel of dynamite. Hooray and hallelujah, you had it coming to you. Goody, goody for him. Goody, goody for him. Goody, goody for me. Goody, goody for me. I'm glad you're satisfied, you rascal, you. Goody, 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 goody. Well, pardon me, boy, but what can I do for you? Judy Fruity and you, young lady. Well, I'll have the same thing, too. Judy Fruity with peaches and pineapples, too. And cherries sprinkled through. Do you chop them in little pieces? That's exactly what we do. And what about you and you and you and you? Judy Fruity. That's a lot of tutti fruity, but I'll try to do my duty for you. I thought you'd come through. Hooray and hallelujah. You got it coming to you. Judy fruity for me. Judy fruity for me. Judy fruity for me. Judy fruity for me. Judy fruity, judy fruity, judy fruity, judy fruity, judy doot, judy fruity. Toot, toot. The governor was a little late with my allowance this week, so just uh, put it on the cuff and I'll pay a little later. Oh, I'm sorry, but you'll have to pay cash. <laughs> I, I'm good for it. Oh, uh, just, uh, give me my Tutti Fruity. Uh, Dave, I want my Tutti Fruity. <laughs> David, come back here. Give me my Tutti Fruity. Hey, what's <laughs> David, he knows I'm good for it. I'll pay him. What are you talking about? My Tutti Fruity ice cream. Oh, is that what you're dreaming about? Oh, I'm sorry I woke you up. Yeah, you were strumming on my backbone. Oh. I was playing the banjo. Now, Harriet, are, are you sure we don't have any Tutti Frutti ice cream? I'm positive. Why don't you go back to sleep? No, wait a minute. I have an idea. Uh, maybe Darby has some. He likes ice cream almost as well as I do. Oh, Ozzy, it's after 12 o'clock. He's probably fast asleep. No, no, he goes to bed very late. Hey, Darb! Hey, Darb! started throwing rocks through my window. I thought somebody was trying to elope with Sally. Oh. <laughs> Do you have any Tutti Frutti ice cream? Are you out of your mind? What do you want with Tutti Frutti ice cream at this hour of the night? <laughs> Am I out of my mind? Well, I want to eat it, of course. <laughs> I'm 
gag is. It's it is no gag. I, I, I was sleeping and, and I was dreaming about <laughs> tutti fruity ice cream. Kick <laughs> and, and I, I. I, I thought you might have some in your freezer. Well, I haven't got any in my freezer. And if I did have some in my freezer, I wouldn't give any oh, to you. Okay, just answer yes up in the middle of the night. Like don't make go a home thing. and go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> yes or no? Now look what you've done. I'm locked out. <laughs> Tootie, fruity, I... Sally? 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 I wouldn't eat any of your old tutti fruity even if you did have any, you old grouch. <laughs> Salad! Come on, dear, let's go. Well, how, what are you doing up and dressed? We're going to go out and look for some tutti fruity ice cream. <laughs> Tonight, I'd like to show you one of the world's great cameras, the magnificent new Retina Reflex by Kodak. This camera is for the professional and the advanced amateur. It's been acclaimed both here and abroad as one of the world's really great cameras. Now here's another great Kodak camera, but in a completely different way. This is the Pony 2, a wonderful camera for people who are just getting started in color slides. Kodak Engineering, the engineering that produced this retina reflex, has made the Pony 2 so amazingly simple to use that now you can get color slides every bit as easily as snapshots. All you do to focus the Pony is turn this ring to close-ups, groups, or scenes, and you can be sure you'll get beautiful slides. Thousands of people, including the Nelson family, have found the Pony camera a real pleasure to use. It costs only $26.75, or as little as $3 down. Why not ask your Kodak dealer to demonstrate it for you? Just tell him you saw it on tonight's Ozzie and Harriet show. Darn it, this one's closed too. It sure looks like it. There's a light back there. You see anybody? Yeah, here he comes now. Do you have any tutti fruity ice cream? Tutti fruity ice cream? Tutti fruity? Sorry, I didn't understand you at first. Come on in. Oh, oh fine. I'll thanks. get something to fix you right up. Fix me up? Yeah, you have a stomachache, haven't you? Oh. <laughs> well, it isn't a stomachache yet. Oh, just a little heartburn. Well, we've got something for that. Oh, no. I was just going to close up when I heard you knocking. I was just getting ready to go to bed. I live in the back of the store. We're oh. sure glad you do. Yeah, it's handy if people want some medicine in the middle of the night. Well, I... Now, here we have some little tablets that are just the ticket for heartburn. Well, uh, thanks very much. I don't have heartburn. I feel fine. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Well, if it bothers you again, be sure to come back any time. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm afraid there's a little misunderstanding here. Uh, I'm not sick at all. We came in here to buy some Tutti Frutti ice cream. You see, we were talking about it earlier this evening, and about an hour ago, I woke up and I had this awful craving for it. Oh, I see. Well, you come right over here and sit down, little lady. Oh, no, it, it, it's nothing like that. You don't have to feel embarrassed about it. I understand. My wife used to get the darndest craving for tuna fish malts. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, do you have any Tutti Frutti ice cream? Let's take a look in the freezer and see. Oh, boy. I can taste it now. Let's see, there's royal blueberry fudge, creme de menthe chip, licorice almond, uh, vanilla... Vanilla. <laughs> That's vanilla marshmallow wave. Ah, afraid we don't have any tutti frutti. Oh. Oh, here's some cherry. That's pretty close to tutti frutti. Why don't you take it along? Yeah, I'd like to take that with us. Well, it's very nice. Well, I'm just, just, just not tutti frutti. Well, it's better than nothing. Oh, uh, well, thank you very much. Thank That's you. All right. A little later on, when you need any bottles, nipples, safety pins, or anything else, I'll be glad to accommodate you. Oh, oh. Thank you. <laughs> You know, there's 
nothing wrong with this ice cream, but it's just not tutti fruity. There's a little more tutti than fruity. I don't know what it is. Here, try some of this. This will make it taste like tutti fruity. What is it? Fruit cocktail. Mix it up with your ice cream. What does it taste like? Fruit cocktail. I want some? Uh, I don't think so. All right. Well, I tried. That's pretty good, though. At least now we can go to sleep and forget the whole thing. Good night. Good night. Good night, good night boys. Uh, Harriet, uh, let's put the rest of this in the freezer. It doesn't quite make it. Well, don't feel too bad about it. The evening wasn't a total loss. At least now we know where to get bottles, nipples, and safety pins. <laughs> you're doing out there, Darb? I was fast asleep. I'm gonna sue you, Ozzy Nelson. What are you talking about? I can't sleep. I keep thinking about that darn tutti frutti ice cream. <laughs> yeah, well, I couldn't get any. Now go back to bed before you wake up the whole neighborhood. No, sir. You woke me up and you're gonna stay up with me. Thirty-five cents, I owe you. Want to play another game? No, Oz, I don't think so. I can't concentrate. Me either. I keep thinking about a great, big, delicious dish of tutti-frutti ice cream. Yeah, me too. Yeah, Oz, what does tutti-frutti ice cream taste like? You mean you never tasted it? Oh, well, I might have when I was a kid. <laughs> You mean you're you're dying to have some and you don't even know what it tastes like? Well, it's all your fault. I never gave it a thought till you came over and woke me up. Uh, what's it like? Well, it's kind of hard to explain. I haven't had any myself in years. Oh, this is ridiculous. We sit here drooling for something and we can't even remember what it tastes like. Uh, why don't we try to make some? No, I tried that before. I mixed some cherry ice cream and some fruit salad, but it just didn't make it. All right, let's start from scratch. You got an ice cream cookbook? I've <laughs> never heard of an ice cream cookbook. Well, any kind of a cookbook. Here's one right here. Uh, I don't think you'll find the ice cream recipes in that. The Sukiyaki Cook It Yourself book. <laughs> All right, using. Yeah, here we are. Ice cream. Ice cream, ice cream. Page 40. Blueberry fudge, creme de mint chip, licorice almond. There's no tutti frutti, huh? Hey, did you find it? Uh, listen to this hamburger recipe: cheese, lettuce, bacon, mustard. Maybe that'll make us forget the tutti frutti. I've forgotten it already. <laughs> Where'd the frying pan land the last time Harriet threw it at you? <laughs> I'm really full. You just couldn't ask for anything better, Nat. You know, all this needs to make it absolutely perfect. Tootie fruity ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> what got you started on this tootie fruity ice cream business, anyhow? Well, uh, Ricky saw this picture in the newspaper. This little boy who was lost when this Sergeant Dolan had picked him up. And he was down at the police station eating this tremendous cone of Tutti Frutti ice cream. Well, then, our problem's solved. All you've got to do is phone the police station and ask them where they get their Tutti Frutti ice cream. <laughs> You're kidding, but you know that's not a bad idea. Who's kidding? What's the number, do you know? Just dial operator. Uh, hello, operator. Uh, could you ring the police station for me, please? My number? Well, uh, what, what do you want my number for? 
Well, no, it, it's not an emergency. It is, too, an emergency. <laughs> well, uh, no, I, I tell you what it is. Uh, I just wanted to find out where they buy their Tutti Frutti ice cream. Well, no, no, I, I, I don't need to talk to the supervisor. Well, yeah, well, if you just uh, call a police station. Twenty-third precinct, Sergeant Dolan. Oh, uh, Sergeant Dolan, uh, my name is Ozzie Nelson. Uh, well, <laughs> I, I know this sounds kind of crazy, but uh, I saw your picture in the paper where you, you uh, had a little boy there that was lost, and you were feeding him some ice cream. It was Tutti Frutti. And I wondered if you could tell me, uh, where do you buy that, uh, that uh, Tutti Frutti? Well, I always stop by McDonald's Market. You know where that is, the south side of town. Oh, yes, I think I do. Uh, are they open this late at night? Oh, yeah, they're open 24 hours a day. Oh, well, fine. Well, thank you very much. Over in luck, Darb. Darb? Come on, Oz, I've got the motor running. <laughs> Hey, we're in luck, Oz. Flavor of the month, Tutti Frutti. Oh, boy. Oh. Well, there's none here. Well, there's none here either. Are you sure? I... Can I help you, gentlemen? Oh, uh, yes, we're looking for some Tutti Frutti ice cream. Well, if you don't find any here, I guess we must be all out of it. I'll have to make a note of that. Isn't there any place in this town where a man can buy Tutti Frutti ice cream? We'll have some in tomorrow. We have got to have it tonight. <laughs> we might try Lang's. It's kind of a long drive from here, though. Uh, whereabouts is it? Well, you go down 3rd Street to Magnolia Avenue, and you come to Maple. Well, yes, I, uh, Maple. I know where that is. That's a stop street. Don't turn there. Just keep going straight till you come to the main highway. Uh, pardon me a minute. Uh, do you want to write this down? No, no, no. We can remember it. Uh, go on, please. Uh, you are out on the main highway. Well, you turn right. You go about four miles till you come to this red barn. Red barn. You can't miss it. Got a big ad for heartburn pills on it. <laughs> you turn right there. You turn right. Drive two miles and ask anybody. They'll know where Langs is. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, we are lost. How can we be? I followed the directions exactly. Well, then we'd better ask somebody. <laughs> Who are we going to ask? There's nobody out. Oh, maybe we could ask in this drugstore here. Looks like there's a light on in the back. Hmm? Oh, don't, don't, uh, 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 don't ask him in there. Ozzy, I have just got to have some Tutti Frutti ice cream, and I'll do anything to get it. Me too. Say, wait a minute. We are lost, aren't we? Of course we are. Ozzy, answer the phone. Ozzy. Hello? Oh! Ozzy, where are you? Well, for goodness sakes, you two must be crazy. All right, I'll call Sally. Oh, Ozzy? How's it taste? Delicious. <laughs> Look, why don't you and the boys get lost and come on down here? <laughs> Hello? Mr. Nelson? Yes? This is the supervisor at the telephone company. Did you place a call to the police station last night? Oh, well, yes, I did. Were you inquiring about where to get Tutti Frutti ice cream? Well, yes, I was. I was wondering if you got any. I happened to mention it to some of the girls down here, and we're all dying for some. <laughs> well, I, I tell you, you might try McDonald's Market. Yes. Well, uh, they're open all night. Uh, you go down 3rd Street until you get to Magnolia. Uh, uh, that's the uh, street with the traffic light. Well, uh, you don't stop there. You just go right straight on until you get to Maple. And Maple, yes. M-A... How have you spelled Maple? <laughs> now here's Ozzy with news about Big as Life Pictures. 
Say, do you know what this is? It's a Kodak 35 millimeter color slide. It's not very big, is it? Only two inches by two inches. And yet when you project it on a home screen, you get color pictures as big as life. Now, a Kodak has many fine color slide cameras and a wide range of prices. Here's one I like especially. The new Kodak Signet 50 camera. It has a built-in photoelectric light meter that takes all the guesswork out of exposure. You just aim it at your subject, and it tells you how much light there is or isn't. It's just like having an expert photographer showing you which setting to use. The Kodak Signet 50 camera, complete with flash holder, costs $82.50, or as little as $8.50 down. When you see its many fine features, I'm sure you'll accept no other. We want to thank you for watching our show tonight. If you get a chance to see the show next week, we feel sure you'll like it. It's one of our favorites, and it's called The Top Gun. As you can guess from the title, the story is mainly about the Old West. Here's one of the scenes from the show where I'm portraying the part of my great-great-grandfather, and Harriet plays the part of a dance hall hostess. As we fade in, I'm telling this story to a bunch of the neighborhood kids. Stranger in these parts, ain't you? Oh, yes, I am, ma'am. My name is Lulu. What's your handle? Oh, uh, my handle's Ivory. <laughs> uh, uh, Nelson. I was glad to meet you, Mr. Nelson. Would you care to dance? Well, sure. I don't mind if I do. Not so fast, Strange. I'm fixing to have this dance with Lulu. Well, while you was fixing to have it, I started. You can have the next dance, maybe. Oh, I'm gonna have this one. Oh, wait. I'm having this one. Wait a minute. There are other girls here with stronger arms. Looks like you don't realize who you're messing around with, Shorty. No, and I don't care, Chubby. <laughs> Where I come from, they call me the Laramie Kid. That change your thinking, stranger? It's all right. I'll dance with him. You stay right where you are, sister. Don't start pushing me, mister. Nobody... Nobody talks that way to the Laramie kid. Oops. <laughs> Anytime you're ready, shorty. Ozzie and Harriet are brought to you on film by Eastman Kodak Company. When you choose your new camera, make sure it has the one feature that means most of all, your guarantee of quality, the world-famous name Kodak. This has been an ABC Television Network film presentation.